How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's special episode, we'll be taking a tour of my Lutron Smart Home. Our Lutron Smart Home contains 14 Lutron switches, three Lutron plug-in switches for lamps, and the Lutron Smart Bridge Pro, which connects everything together in one ecosystem, which allows us to control all the lights from our phone or even using Alexa. So today, we'll go over every device in our house, how each device works, and we'll give you the total cost for all the Lutron devices. And we'll also show you how to customize these lights for different scenes. And we'll even show you how to install the Pico remote using the wall mount kit. And then lastly, I'll give you my opinion on whether these Lutron switches are worth it. So first, let's go ahead and take a look at all my Lutron switches in my house. And just to clarify, all these Lutron switches are the Caseta wireless switches. We have four different types of Lutron switches in our house. We have the smart on and off switch. We have the smart dimmer switch. We have the lamp dimming smart plug. And we have the Pico wireless control. We have several of those wall mounted. And we have a few of these Pico remotes that sit on our table for convenient and easy access. As I show you the locations for the Lutron switches, Make sure to pay attention to the cost of each switch. And at the end, I'll add it all up. And to be brutally honest, these switches are not cheap. And so depending on your budget, you might only install a few switches at first. And then maybe later, you could add more switches. So here we go. So we'll begin the tour in our office with the smart on and off switch. Next, by our front door, is a smart on and off switch, which controls the outside light by the door. We have a Pico wireless controller wall mounted, and this controls the lights in the hallway. Now at the end of the hallway, we have the smart on and off dimmer that also controls the lights in the hallway. Next, we have a smart dimmer that controls the ceiling light in the family room. And here we have another Pico wireless controller wall mounted, and this controls the dining room lights. And then we have another smart dimmer that controls the kitchen lights. In the living room, we have a smart on and off switch that controls the ceiling light. And we also have the plug-in smart dimmer switch that control these two lamps. And also in the family room, we have another plug-in smart dimmer switch that controls this lamp. Next, in the dining room, we have a smart on and off switch. And by the sliding door, we have a smart dimmer switch for the outdoor patio lights. And another Pico wireless controller wall mounted. This controls the kitchen lights. In the master bedroom, we have a smart dimmer switch. We have another plug-in smart dimmer switch for these two lights. And lastly, in the master bathroom, we have two smart on and off switches. One controls the light above the shower, and the other one controls the one above the tub. And to make all these work together in one ecosystem, you'll need a Lutron bridge connected to your network. And right here we have the Lutron Smart Bridge Pro, which allows up to 75 devices. Pretty cool. And the total cost of our Lutron Smart Home, a whopping $935. And that's not including tax. So the total cost for all the switches and the bridge with tax is about $1,000. And guys, I gotta be honest, that's a lot of money for a smart home <laughs> lighting solution. <laughs> However, the cost for your setup could be much smaller because your home may need less switches. So back to the original question, are these switches worth the large price tag? Well, before I give you my opinion, let's take a look at what these switches can do. And then we'll show you how to install the Pico wireless remote with the wall mount kit. Besides being able to control each light from an app, 
That same app allows for scenes. For instance, I have five different scenes. Each scene creates kind of a mood for your house. For instance, I have a movie night scene, which is really cool. The movie night scene turns most of the lights off or dims them. I also have an arriving home scene, a leaving home scene, a sleeping scene, and a smart away scene. The smart away scene will have your lights go on and off randomly, as if you're home. Pretty cool. So how do you make a new scene? Click on Add Scene. You want to name the scene and select the appropriate icon for that scene. And now you can select lights for that scene. You can choose certain lights to be on or off or dimmed. It's that easy. One more feature that I really like is the timer feature. You can set any switch to turn on and off at any time. So for instance, our front porch light turns on at five and turns off at six in the morning. So now let me show you how to install the Pico remote using the wall mount kit. We're gonna install this Pico remote in the hallway. As always, turn off the power at the breaker. Don't get zapped. Take the faceplate off. This switch on the left side controls the hallway light. However, this is a three-way switch and we already installed a Lutron Smart Dimmer switch that controls these hallway lights. So switch number two will become a Pico wall remote. Unscrew and remove the original switch. Now go ahead and cap the ground wire with a wire cover and the remaining wires, twist them all together and cap them with a wire cover as well. Now you can attach the Pico wireless remote to the wall box. Then reattach the wall plate. Now turn the power on back at the breaker. Next, you want to pair this Pico wall remote with the other switch that controls the hallway light. So with the other switch, hold the bottom button down for six seconds, then hold the bottom button down on the Pico remote for six seconds. Now both controls will control the hallway lights. Super easy. And we've installed three of these Pico wall remotes in our house. Of all the Lutron switches, the Pico wall remote is the cheapest. So whenever possible, you want to use the Pico wall remote. They're about half the price of the switch. So after all this information, are these switches worth the high price? In terms of convenience, features, overall functionality, and the easy installation, I would say definitely yes. They are worth the premium price. And these switches could add a small amount of resale value to your house. It's definitely a great upgrade for potential buyers. So guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching. And as usual, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And for the record, this video is not sponsored by Lutron. We happen to have a lot of Lutron devices in our home. And we want to provide you with a video to show you how it all works. And like I said before, these switches are not cheap. I would consider these premium smart switches, but you get what you pay for. And I'll have links in the description below to where you can buy these switches. And guys, don't forget to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.